All right, now that I got the valve box out of my way, we can go ahead and open up this valve, take off the top, take off the spring, take out the diaphragm, and take out the collar. Then we'll reverse that process exactly and install the new collar, install the new diaphragm, install the new spring, and line up the top with the solenoid port that we see right here in front of me. All right, let's see if we can do this one in less than a minute. I got the last bolt to come out of this one here. I already took apart that valve over there, got all the parts laid out where I want them, and all of the screws are put where I need them. There's the old valve. We'll just take out the solenoid, make this a little bit easier to get this out of our way. There's the old diaphragm, the old collar, the spring, all gone. We'll go ahead and make sure the solenoid port is clear. We'll get our new collar installed. We'll get our new diaphragm installed. Make sure everything sits right. There we go. Don't forget our spring. And make sure we line up our... Oh, here's my trick, guys. Take out this little bleeder screw. Once you get the bleeder screw out, it'll make it a little bit easier to get this lined up where you need it. And I need to make sure that I line up the solenoid with the solenoid port there. Grab my brand new bolts that I have right here. Get a couple of them on so we can let go of the valve. And we actually got to do this one without it filling up with water because the last one we did is where all the water went out. Now that I got it installed, I can go ahead and put this back where it goes. Get the rest of these nuts back on there, tighten it down, put the valve box back, and we'll be good to go. And there it is, brand new valve, ready to go. All right, on to the next one.